Hey everybody, how you doing today? I'm gonna to do something different today. I'm gonna to do a review of Skechers Slip In. Uh, when I first went into the hospital that morning, I was in my Crocs, and then I was in my Crocs for two weeks. I never had any shoes brought to me, and when I got out, you know, I was in those, and they were ratty little things, and they, I was kind of walking out of them at times, and so I tried to put on my boots, my uh, motorcycle boots. Not going to happen. Not with a dead left ankle that's flopping all over the place, you know, and going through the the ankle part of the, the boot, you know, and, you know, because they're high tops. Not going to work. So I tried to put other shoes on, and that didn't work either because my ankle on my left foot, I could not maintain a rigidity to get the shoe on. So I'd seen and heard about these Skechers slip-ins. So I went to the website, plugged in the Ames, Iowa, you know, store so I could see what they had. And the thing that concerned me right away was a lot, some people in the reviews did not like the slip-ins because they were too much like moccasins. And I didn't want that. I wanted a shoe. So I did some looking around and I finally came up, finally came up with this model called the Garza Gervin black and it's got like a a hard upper it's almost a dress shoe but not quite you know it's a slip in so I went to the store hobbled my way in and they were real nice there was a couple people there and they had this shoe at ten and a half which is the size that I wear uh, man I'll tell you the first time getting it in on the left foot took about five minutes almost fell over when your ankle will not, you know, be steady, the, the heel was slipping, you know, left and right. And these shoes, at least the 10 and a half that I got in this, this uh, model, it's pretty stiff getting in. You've got to do one or two or three pushes. Man, it was like 10 pushes to get in to this shoe for me on my left foot. I'll demonstrate here. Okay, first I'll show you the shoe here has some good tread on there it's not exactly a moccasin it's a it's a hard hard upper okay the right foot about three pet presses and I'm in the left foot there's one get the toes in three four five there we go but I'm pretty happy with this shoe at first it was real hard to get in but my left foot was swollen the swelling has gone down as I've been working out yada yada and you know five presses to get in there it's it's kind of interesting how they use their technology there's a little thin piece of elastic back there that you know the heel is real tough real solid and then you press on in, the toes slip in, and it's a pretty good shoe in my book. Uh, I may go back and get another pair because like I've always said, if you find something you like, you better get two or three because in six months to a year, not gonna be there, okay? Sorry, I'm a little out of breath. I just came in and out about 10 times, bringing in clothes and stuff like that. So anyway, the Skechers slip-ins, uh, my first and only experience with them give them two thumbs up uh, like I said I may explore some other versions I wouldn't mind having a moccasin set for summer however I think my croc knockoffs that I usually wear in the summer that have elastic heel you know have that have velcro adjustable heels I may be able to get into them by the time summer really rolls around uh, you know, a couple weeks ago, no way. Uh, today, it's a whole different ball game with therapy. The heel, my ankle, has stiffened up a little bit. It's still kind of wobbly and, and all over the place. But anyway, the Skechers slip-ins, if you're having trouble getting into shoes, I give it a two thumbs up. All right, thank you very much. We'll see you again. <laughs>